Hey there y'all, this is Homemade Collectibles channel with a review of the homemade 4D Super Postable Male Muto Action Figure from the Godzilla 2014 film. This is a 4D homemade crafted origami figure that's postable, extremely detailed, and just in a really fantastic figure. So this is a review of that. So let's take a look at the figure itself you can see that this is the male muto figure from the godzilla 2014 film it is 40 it's made out of uh, paper plastic metal and cardboard for some pieces it is posable and it's really cool it's a really unique item and um yeah so let's uh, take a look at it so first i'm going to look at the details of this figure so we used um google images um you know we watched scenes from the film to try to understand this creature what's really cool is that this is like a parasite creature so you can see um that it's a really unique monster from the godzilla universe and the you know all the godzilla monsters so you can see the head sculpt right there um, it's really nice. Those iconic red eyes go down. The jaw is posable, so you can open the jaw and you can see the tongue is in there. So there's a detailed tongue. You can see the details on the neck. Of course, you get the wings right there. This is the winged Muto, so he's got, he's got his wings. You can see those iconic arms, and he does have those smaller arms, which are posable. You can see those are really... Uh, detailed as well so he's got posable arms there and you can see the main arms right here which are uh, detailed as well give that um, parasite mammal kind of look into it. that's the best way I can describe these creatures as being like insect mammals and you can see the front of the figure too it looks really nice as well you get the sharp uh, beak there beak kind of thing that it had in the movie of course, at the end of it, you get those iconic hooks, which do have a little bit of red um, coloring to it to give that EMP effect. And also to kind of give this more than one color, you kind of give it a style of organic and parasite. You can see a little bit of yellow coloring and uh, texture just to give it some more life into it. So you can see the body right there, there is the top. You can see there's a little tail tip right there. And there's the legs. And it's also got those uh, tiny little claws on it that it had in the movie. So I really looked at um, images and videos and really create the best uh, homemade, articulated, posable Muto figure that we can. But also to make sure that it um, looks like it's accurate too and that it works in this kind of um, creation. The bottom of the figure also has yellow details right there. So, um, so you can see that this figure is, um, it's around five inches tall. Um, it does, it is a little bit smaller than um, some of the um, other homemade stuff we made because the creature is small. So if you put like a six inch uh, figure with it, it's not going to be as tall as six inch, but that's just so we can have some sort of scale. And because it comes with this accessory, it comes with a little display of the airport scene from the uh, film. So you can see there are little planes in there. Oh, that's a plane. You can see some details of the side of the airport. You can little little bus right there. Cars, a little flame effect to simulate that kind of like explosion that happened in the film. And you can you know place. Uh, let's actually move the Muto back. Get him standing a little bit. You can place that right there, you know, get some sort of scale, like that's a bus, and then that's the foot of the Muto. You can just see how big that creature is, give some sort of scale and some life into it. 
Um, what's really cool is you can actually use this uh, um, metal uh, stand to actually simulate the creature flying. So, of course, you know, the creature does fly. So all you got to do is push those arms back, push those smaller arms, and then um, move the neck, place it like that. And it is kind of tricky sometimes. You have to actually bend this down so that's all the way straight. Let's see if I can do this. And uh, voila. Um, zoom out of that. So you can see that it is stimulate the flying. Actually, let's do that a little bit more better. I think we can do a little bit more better than that. If not, I think I got the point across. You just kind of have to mess around with it. Let me see if I can try it. I don't want to waste too much time. I don't want to go past the 10 minute mark. If not, I think you'll get the point. just kind of have to mess with it but yeah I think that first time we tried it was pretty good but yeah I just gotta mess with this uh bottom base here to get the standing but you can still use this to pose the monster in you know like that pretty cool pretty awesome um articulation yes this figure is articulated so you can move the jaw up and down the head can go up and down, go all the way down like that, and then it can go a little bit up. The um, arms here are on a swivel, so you can move it forward, move it back. And there's also articulation on this point of the arm here, so you can pose that. Same thing on the other side, move the wings out of the way. You can move the arms. Kind of hindered by the wings, but you know, you can still pose it. The wings have a joint here. So if you wanna um, fold down the wings, you can do so as you wish, or you can have it displayed up like that. Of course, I showed before those smaller arms. You kinda can't see it, but there's a joint right there where my thumb is, so you can pose that. And then of course the legs, you can move forward and back. Oh, the body. Um, if you can see, there is a cut here and a cut here, so you can actually pose the body. So this half will swivel a little bit. This will swivel up and down, but of course, because of the, uh, um, just the design, it is in all the, um, wing parts that are in the way it's kind of hindered but you can pose that so we're great about this figure it won't break you drop it on the floor it's not gonna break so but this is not a kid's toy not a child's toy it's a uh it's an origami figure it's still an origami so you gotta treat it like such keep it away from water um display it take care of it um see if we can get standing and you know made this kind of like for the 10th anniversary of godzilla 2014 it's one of my personal favorite films of all time so and i really like this creature i really wanted to make my own um this is available if you are interested to purchase it while it's still available i have it on my ebay store it's not that expensive i would love it if someone purchased this um, and let me know what you think of it. We'll ship it out, package it nicely. Not that expensive. Um, please support this um, project if you're interested by purchasing one while it's still available so we can make more. I would love to make more. And um, yeah, let me know what you think. Comment down below. Please subscribe. That would help a lot. Um, share your opinions. Just let me know what you think. Just let me know if you if this is interesting or not. Thank you for watching and have a good one.